Hi guys and girls, my name is Reefman and thanks for coming back to another video. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to clean out a Radeon. A lot of you probably have these LED lights over your tank. Um, they do get a lot of salt spray and, and goop in them so they were definitely worth cleaning. It's not very hard, it's just a bunch of screws and uh, come on, we'll show you how. So we have a six, actually seven foot long tank here and part of that means we have a bunch of lights over it. So I currently have five Radeons. I have a mix of Gen 3 and Gen 4 Radeon lights. They're all LED. Um, I do want to get one more Gen 4 to fill in this corner, um, but right now I found um, that we can just put Montiporos and that kind of stuff, low light corals in that corner, and it's been fine. Um, one of the things that we do have to do though, because the Radeons are relatively close to the surface of the water here. They're about six inches. They actually get salt spray on them. I'm not sure if you'll be able to see, but maybe if it focuses, we can get it to show you guys with the salt spray. You can see it's kind of like dirty and just collects junk under there. So every once in a while, we open up the Radeons and clean them out. And we're actually going to be cleaning out this Radeon today in the back corner here. Um, it's been making a clicking noise. I think there's just some uh, schmutz or something on the fan. So we're gonna go ahead and take that down and open it up and see what's in there. All right, we'll be back soon. So this is the Radeon that you saw above the tank before I've taken it down. You can see it's quite dirty. There's um, a lot of salt spray. This is where the return came in. Um, just lots of salt and dust on the top of it. And then the bottom of it, that where the light comes out and what was facing the tank, I can also see there is some um, salt spray just on the fan here. I do wipe down the lenses for the LEDs, so they're relatively clean. Um, I use just lens cleaner to clean those off. But um, to get into here and actually clean the fan off, I think we're gonna have to take these four screws out and maybe these four too. Um, so let's just dive in and, and see where this goes. I do have some paper towels and I also have um, just a little bit of water off to the side. Um, you don't wanna get obviously electronics too wet, but um, I want to be able to remove the salt that is sort of like sprayed on there and dried. So let's go ahead and dig into this and it looks like four screws around the edge. And we'll see where that goes from there. Of course, this is not the sort of um, Radeon approved or Ecotech approved method of cleaning these. They would say, um, you know, soft damp cloth on the outside only. Obviously, you don't want to expose the electronics. You don't want to tell your customers, take apart your product and expose the electronics inside to who knows what. Um, so let's see if this is enough or not. Um, yeah, so these four in the middle are definitely going to have to come out as well. At least they are different size screws here, so there's no mistaking them when we put them back in. looks like these ones actually hold the fan in, so those will be, will be important to be able to get access to the fan anyway. I do see that there are some, it looks like hex head screws down in here that hold the lenses on. I'm not actually going to take those off if I don't have to, only because um, I don't need to clean inside there. All right, so it's got, it's got a nice gasket around, not a thick gasket, but a gasket around all of the open areas. And then I'm noticing just lots and lots of debris and, and just built up stuff in there. So we're gonna have to clean that out before we put it back together. Otherwise, um, let's say we've got two modules, um, Radeon LED clusters, um, it says Gen 3 base 2013. 
and then this one uh, I'm sure is also a Gen 3. I haven't done any sort of like lens upgrades or anything like that on these. So this is pretty much just what you get out of the, the box and this is all, all in there. But um, we've got the RF module, the actual driver itself. It looks like it's got a fuse, that's nice to see. Um, otherwise, yeah, everything is pretty clean in here. The, the, um, the gaskets did a really good job of keeping all of the salt spray away from the electronics. So that's really good to see. So let's just go ahead and get started here. I think I will start with just the top because, um, well, that's gonna be a lot easier. There's not any moving parts. So we'll just get a, just get a damp towel and we'll see what we can remove from there. There's a lot of, a lot of built up debris. If anyone who has a salt water aquarium, which I assume most of you guys or girls probably do, um, you would know that salt gets everywhere over time. So this is definitely something worth doing if you have any kind of light over your tank. Before the Radions, I had just a ATI power module which is um, T5, which are little fluorescent bulbs. And you had to do the same kind of stuff there. Uh, salt spray gets into the, the moving parts and the fans and things. And if you, don't, um, if you don't clean it out every once in a while, then just uh, it ends up being really bad. So I see the gasket just came out. So I'll just set that to the side. Um, otherwise, this is much easier to clean without the gasket. You could almost just, uh, run this under a faucet even. In fact, I might actually just do that. It'll be a lot easier to just run it under the faucet. So um, yeah, I'm actually going to be right back and uh, we'll have this nice and clean. So this is just a plastic part. I think the faucet is the way to go. So that's the top of it all clean. Um, I wish that I could just run the bottom under the faucet. That was really easy to clean up just doing it that way. So we'll just set that off to the side. Uh, so looks like we have to get the fan clean. We'll have to uh, go with a moist towel and we'll work on that and try and just get the stuff to fall out instead of in. Um, I may end up needing to just use a vacuum at the end and get all the stuff that I'm breaking off, all the dry pieces of salt and things that are in here. But I can definitely feel the built up salt and that's what was making this click when the fan was running. There's a surprising amount of stuff in there to be honest with you. Unfortunately, these kind of um, computer fans, there's not really anything you can do as far as taking them apart to clean them. At least not that I'm aware of. So uh, just kind of have to be careful with them and clean them off as best you can. Um, I am looking to see maybe there's a some uh, screws or something. What's holding this in? shake all the all the crud out of it <laughs> yeah I don't really see what's holding it in um, this must be uh, attached from the other side and I'm not going to take it apart that quite that much to be able to to get at that um, yeah so let me go get I left my paper towels on, on the other room so I'll be right back again All right, so we're back with our paper towels and let's just see if we can't get in there a little bit better. So I do see there is a little bit of salt on the LED modules themselves, the lenses. Um, 
Definitely don't want to drip any water in there because that's just the electronics, but we can take a moist paper towel at least and just go over the top and get those nice and clean. And now if these are really dirty, they are just bolted in. If you have a hex, um, hex key, you can just take them right out. It looks like, looks like they're just hex uh, screws. And these are replaceable as well because they sell different versions. These are the default ones, but they sell ones with different lenses on them to spread the light more. Uh, but these are just the ones that it comes with. So those are nice and clean. Now, I wish that I could really get in there and take this fan apart. I have the, the tops of the blades nice and clean now, but um, there's a lot of stuff just underneath the blades that I would really like to remove, um, but I don't have access to it. So that might just have to wait until I'm feeling a little bit more adventurous. Uh, I don't really want to have to replace this light if I can help it, um, but I do want it to not click while it's running. But quite a bit of stuff has came out, so I'm hopeful. I don't hear it making any noise anymore, so I'm hoping that it will have taken care of it. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and just shake this a little bit. Get the loose stuff out of there. And then we'll just put it back together. So, first things first, we'll get this gasket lined up along the edges. And we'll make sure there's nothing on the gasket, no salt or anything has has deposited down there, it looks like, so that's good. And then I believe this was like this, although it does look symmetrical, probably doesn't matter what way you put it back in, but it uh, looks like that's the way it went before, so we'll just keep it consistent. And then it just kind of presses in. Now we'll put in the four screws and we'll be done with this side of it at least, and then I'll just flip it over. I'll uh, wipe down the other side and then we will be done. And then just five more or four more radions to go. And then I'll be completely done with radion maintenance this weekend. Really wasn't so bad. I was afraid that there might be a bunch of clips or um, you know something further holding this on than just screws, but it really, it was put quite easy to get access to everything. It all just came apart nicely. So I wouldn't feel afraid, even if you're not technically, um, you know, gifted, um, which I wouldn't say as far as hardware like this goes, I wouldn't say I am, but um, definitely this is something that you can do uh, sort of at any skill level, I would say. Just be careful that you don't, you know, dump water into the electronics. And I would stay away from you know, like acetone or anything like that. It's not needed. Uh, all the stuff that's in these, I mean, unless your fish tank is some crazy fish tank from another world, um, it's just gonna be salt basically that comes up and then evaporates and then leaves the deposits. So that's all water soluble. So you shouldn't need anything extra. You might take, if you really need to clean something, uh, I would just try maybe like some rubbing alcohol, but Honestly, inside mine at least, there was there was nothing to clean other than the other than the the salt. So yeah, my screwdriver is a little bit too small for those center screws, so I'm going to get those tightened up a little bit later with a properly sized screwdriver. So yeah, that is cleaning the insides of a radion. Got to retighten those screws, but in the time being, I'm going to just wipe down the top and then we'll be done. And this is just a combination of dust. Um, and of course, since it's a saltwater aquarium, the dust ends up sticking to all of the salt spray that gets on here. And then you have return pumps and 
other pumps and everything just makes a fine mist of salt that deposits on everything. I'm sure all of you with tanks out there know what I'm talking about, where salt creep gets on everything. But it's just a nice hard plastic sheet on top. So that cleaned up pretty nicely, actually. We'll see what it looks like when it dries. It probably is not going to be quite as nice as if I was able to run it under a faucet, but you know, I have to turn this back on, so I'm not gonna do that. These are where you mount it, by the way. Those aren't things you have to take off. If you did want to approach it from the other side, you may, these probably, I would say, hide screws. Um, in fact, I can see screws in there, although it's not screws. Actually, it is screws that you could, you could get from this side. Tiny little hex screws, I would say, probably get in there and take those out and then this comes off. The fan exhausts through this little vent right here. So we can maybe like just clean up the sides and, and the vent a little bit. But there's a vent all the way around and that's where the, the fan exhausts from the, the warmth of the LEDs. And these do actually get quite warm if you're running them full bore. I run my radions around 60% or so. Um, so they're not quite as, as warm. Um, but if you run them at 100%, they do get quite warm and they put out quite a bit of heat through the, the fans and the fans uh, really get going and sound like you know a plane taking off. So um, for everyone's sanity at home, I don't like to, to have them quite at, at that speed. But yeah, that's how you clean a generation three Ecotech Radeon. Now these are not the current model. Um, Gen 4 is the current model, but I'm, I'm sure they're very similar. So I'm sure this would work for uh, your Gen 4s as well. I do have a Gen 4. Maybe I could have cleaned that one instead so that it'd be more topical, but I'm, I'm certain that it's just the four screws and then it comes out again. Because like I was saying, they still sell replacement uh, light covers, repa replacement lenses, and so you have to have access to the lenses to be able to replace them. And in order to get access to the lenses, as we saw, you have to take out the screws. So I'm sure it's the same. So yeah, hopefully that was interesting. Go ahead and clean your radions. Give them a good cleaning. I would do it at least once a year. Um, otherwise, yeah, hope you enjoyed it. See you next time. Bye.